It is the worst nightmare of the Secret Service. An attack on the President of the United States Imagine while that. he's traveling. Hidden beneath this manhole cover is a bomb that went undetected. And it can be triggered remotely. Just seconds from now, the presidential motorcade will be passing over exactly this spot. But this is not the only danger. A few blocks away, there is a second threat. Located in a dimly lit room, a sniper is overlooking the intersection, where the president will soon be. And a little further down the road, a van with tinted windows is parked, close to the blocked off streets. Inside, a man is preparing a rocket launcher. How much overkill do you need? You've got a bomb under the sewage drain. You've got a sniper in case that somehow doesn't succeed. And you've got an RPG to finish the job off. Damn, these... I guess it's plans. If plan A doesn't work, we go to plan B. And then plan But the C. thing is, plan A, when the bomb goes off, well, didn't that trigger the security and the police? And the C. They're not going to take the president to the location after that, would they? True. No, I doubt I it. I wouldn't. Uh, yeah, they, it wouldn't make sense to do yeah. that if they survive. That will soon be aimed at the motorcade. Fortunately, these three scenarios are purely fictional, but they will demonstrate the rigorous effort the Secret Service undertakes to ensure that the president remains secure during travel. While the president is still about two minutes away from the manhole cover with the bomb, the first car of the motorcade, the route car, is already driving past this spot. This car, together with the pilot car, ensures that the road is clear of obstructions. The sweepers, which are primarily motorcycles, follow the route car and pilot car and help clear the road ahead. However, they are unable to identify the bomb and the core of the motorcade consisting of Secret Service vehicles with the President on board is approaching. As the President's limousine rolls towards the manhole cover, a person remotely pulls the trigger and suddenly... nothing happens. What the hell? I thought an explosion was gonna go off there. I wonder, maybe the, the car's got like a technology to that deactivate things as it approaches, who knows. The remote trigger didn't work. And that is because of this car. Oh. The Electronic Countermeasure Suburban. One of the most technically impressive vehicles in the motorcade. On its roof, antennas emit radio frequencies that drown out any bomb activation signal. No way. This technique is called barrage jamming. That's so and good. it essentially works by the antennas emitting such a strong noise signal that other signals simply cannot get through. And so the motorcade continues undisturbed towards the second thread. Makes the sense what is other plans. In the yeah. Located behind the electronic countermeasure suburban is the President's vehicle, commonly known by its nickname, the Beast. The Beast! However, you can never be <gasps> sure in which car the President is, <laughs> as there are two identical presidential limousines on the road. Oh, clever. Following behind are two cars carrying the President's most important security personnel, ready to take action in the event of an attack. This is the so-called halfback in which the President's personal Secret Service agents are located. No matter what happens, these agents will stay with the President. The other car carries the counter-assault team. These heavily armed agents can remain on site and fight off an attack. This creates a secure buffer between attackers and the President. Behind these cars are the control car and the support car. These transport additional Secret Service agents, essential presidential staff, as well as the president's personal doctor. I like how prepared they are. They got everything like covered. Like I knew obviously when the president moves, he's got an entourage of like cars and things going on to protect him, but I didn't think it was to, to this, this extent, extent and yeah. like, they're cow they're pre um they're pre countering any things that can happen like the bomb, etc., which is amazing. The bomb one is smart 
to have that before the president's car as well, because as you've just seen, there was a bomb literally underneath the drain. Yeah. But because that car went ahead before the president's vehicle, it deactivated it. And it, you know how there was like the sweeper motorbikes and stuff? They were well ahead. So yeah. although they got through it, obviously the people ain't trying to get them. They're waiting for the president. Mm. That jammer is close enough to the president's car for it to not affect. That's really cool. Mm. It's crazy. But unknown to any of them, they are currently approaching another friend. Let's see. As the oh. motorcade arrives at the intersection the sniper has scouted out. The fact that there are two identical cars makes it difficult for Which a shooter. One? But unfortunately, he catches a glimpse through the glass, aims and pulls the trigger. What's gonna happen? Bulletproof, obviously. Such a scenario naturally brings back memories of the 1963 assassination of John F. Kennedy, uh. who was shot while driving his motorcade through Dallas. Since that time, the presidential limousine has undergone many changes. Ken so back then they had no like windows, nothing. So I guess that was a wake up call that that they need to protect the president. Yeah, like this yeah. is we can't be rolling because like like, he was out in the open. Kennedy's oh, car God. was a specially modified 1961 Lincoln Continental. Unfortunately though, only a few of the adjustments made were related to security improvements. The car was retrofitted with a luxurious heating and air conditioning system, <laughs> as well as lights, sirens, fire extinguishers, and radio telephones for communication. The car was also extended to include a middle row of jump seats, that can fold away when not in use. In addition, the roof was made to be completely removable, and the cushion on the rear bank where the president sits was raised. Both these modifications were designed to make the president more visible to the public. Unfortunately, it also made him more vulnerable. Yeah. After right, Kennedy's assassination, the car was massively rebuilt. A top of bulletproof glass was installed, and the body of the car was now protected with titanium armor. Perhaps somewhat symbolic, the light convertible appearance, representative of a hopeful time, was built up into a tank set to protect his more divisive successor. Luckily, today's limousine is well prepared for such an attack and the shot has absolutely no chance of success. I know this is all bulletproof, guys, and I know they've obviously gone through the development to make sure bullets don't get through this vehicle and to shoot the president. But my question to you, if this actually really happened with a sniper sh bullet, a sniper bullet is like this, like probably bigger, like is it massive a sniper rifle bullet is not a pistol bullet like it's it's massive if a powerful sniper shot at that glass regardless of it being bulletproof will it go through in a real life scenario comment your thoughts below because i know for a fact you can get armor penetrating bullets you can get massive sniper bullets not a little bullet like 100% i think that'll protect against like ars which are like rifles and stuff and pistols Sniper, I don't know. I think a sniper bullet is a bit peak. But like you said, wouldn't they undergo this glass under testing? You would think that now look and at... And shoot different bullets against it as well. You would think that. Now look at the Tesla. You know, the Tesla, the Cybertruck. They made that 100% bulletproof. But I do believe certain ammunition will get through. They've, they've tested it on like YouTube and stuff. But this is a glass that's to protect the president. I know. I don't know. Carl, that's what I'm asking you guys. In a real life scenario, what would actually happen, you guys? Yeah, no, it's a good question. Comment below. The current beast has been in service beast. since September 2018. It is a completely Cadillac, yeah. custom built vehicle by Sick. General Motors. Although visually reminiscent of a sedan, the car was actually built based on a truck platform. This was necessary to support the over 15,000 pound heavy armored vehicle. Oh, 15, the interior wow. is hermetically sealed against any form of chemical attack. 
The tires are able to continue driving even when shot, and、wow. the doors are eight inches thick and equipped with handles that, with the switch of a button, can be electrified in order to prohibit entry to outsiders. That's sick. Always inside the car, there is a storage of blood of the same blood type as the president. It is a lot. That's mad. So there's a storage of blood. And bear in mind, do you remember they said behind him is his own personal doctors. So if he gets shot somehow, and losing blood, losing blood, they have his、there. exact blood type.、Ah, they thought of everything. They did. Look, if this was about back then, John F. Kennedy would have still been alive. No way would he. They had an open roof. Like it was crazy. Luxury tank designed to withstand any possible threat. That is sick. But、I、the biggest、that. challenge in our scenario is yet to come. As、yeah. just two blocks away,、RPG. the man with the rocket launcher prepares to test the car's endurance. This is Behind a mad one. Behind the solid core of vehicles directly protecting the president are a few larger vans. These carry the press pool of reporters that travel with the president. This car behind is the ID car. It functions as the motorcade's communications hub, relaying information between the different vehicles and identifying problems early on. Behind that is the hazardous materials mitigation unit, a vehicle equipped to respond to biological, chemical, and even nuclear attacks. I love that they did that. It carries the necessary equipment and personnel. To treat the effects of such an attack effectively, this is the so-called Roadrunner, recognizable by the antenna above the roof. This car is the mobile communication hub of the motorcade, ensuring that the president is fully operational at all times.、Mm. The car provides satellite and internet communications, and it feeds a direct encrypted link to the Pentagon. Allowing the president to hold secure phone and video conversations even when on road. That is sick. At the back of the motorcade, a local ambulance will follow, just in case anything happens. And signifying the end of the motorcade are the so-called rear guards, local police cars that make sure that no other cars drive into the motorcade from the back.、Mm. So many cars. That's how they move, though. I didn't expect to this extent either. We need to do a video of like live president movement, like、yeah. Donald Trump and you know whoever was president, Joe Biden. You'll see them like when they're moving. It's such a this is、mm. an entourage of cars. At this point, the presidential limousine arrives at the intersection with the van. Quickly, a man jumps out and aims the rocket launcher. Directly at the limousine. If he hit, if he hits the right one. For this case, the presidential limousines and the electronic countermeasure vehicle are equipped with smoke grenades. As soon as they are triggered, the cars disappear in the smoke, preventing a clear line of sight. What the hell? This so-called infrared smoke screen is composed in such a way that it conceals the heat signature of objects. That means that even more complex guided missiles would not succeed in、What、tracking the, the target. Meanwhile, the beast flees the scene. The presidential motorcade is a highly fought-for system. Yeah. Although the enormous、Clearly. number of cars may seem a bit arbitrary at first glance, a closer look reveals that the different vehicles all fulfill different tasks. And to but. When the vehicle releases the smoke screens, how does it get triggered? That's what I wanted. To, I was literally thinking that as well. What triggered the smoke screen to say, "All right, there's a?" Because I'm sure it doesn't happen automatically.、Launcher. They must press something in there.、Right? Comment below, guys. Did we miss something there? Let us know below. Yeah. Together, function as a White House on wheels. Though it's probably fair to say that, besides justified security concerns, there's also some element of projecting power at play here. Today, the motorcade managed to successfully avert three different dangers, but the motorcade is only one part of a huge security apparatus. 
with another element being Air Force One, yeah. the call sign for a heavily modified Boeing 747, on which the president travels. This plane was severely tested. So, the president, protection at its finest. Were you quite surprised at the level of protection? I mean, I expected it, but like you said, to that extent, I did not expect that. Yeah. I did not expect so many vehicles to assist the president's vehicle. I thought it would just be like a bunch of like secret service and like military or whatever it is, but I didn't realize they got like his blood in there. They got his own personal doctors. They got like infrared jammers. They've got smoke screens. I didn't in the think vehicle. it was like to that at all. You yeah. Know? Like when you when they break down what they've actually done, you're like, raw. It's good yeah. because unfortunately, you know, John John F. Kennedy did John have Kennedy, to yeah. suffer from that, and they have had to. It's, it was a major learning curve for them. Yeah, for sure. To protect the future presidents. Yeah, they can't let that happen again after the first time. No, and it, it should have happened the first time, but. You know, learn from mistakes. Guys, thank you for recommending the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. We are reading comments, so keep suggesting videos because we are reacting to them. This was a suggestion by you guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe and peace out. Bye.